I saw something that gave me like total cancer when I watched it. And let me pull this up right now. You guys saw this video on Twitter? This is one of these like TikTok videos where it's like, I love when videos are made and it requires me to read. It requires me to read the videos because like you're doing a video. You couldn't just open your mouth and speak the words. You have to you hold sticky notes to the camera. So I have to read this shit. But yeah, so you've probably seen this video before. Actually, it looks like most of you've seen this video before. Well, you know what? I'm going to do you the favor. We're going to watch it again. All right, my 55, and I'm going to mute this because I feel like I'm going to get fucked for copyright. My 55-year-old conservative dad has never voted Democrat in his life. And just right there, you see that little smirk on her face? You see that? She, you, you already know how this story, you know the beginning, the middle, and the end of this story just from the first two sticky notes. You see it in her words, you see it in her face, you know what's going on, dude. Let's keep going. He's dying of uh, a plastic anemia. All right. We've had some intense exchanges about him voting for Trump this year. Because that's on, the th that's on like the top of your priorities. This is on your list, all right? My father is dying. He's only got a, a little, a little time, uh, you know, a few months left. We need to get that fucking vote changed, boys. As if one vote for Trump is even going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, he's not out there rallying for Trump while he's dying of his illness. He's not out there <laughs> preaching to hundreds of thousands of potential new voters. He's one man voting for Trump. Because he's been a Republican his entire life. It's just who he votes for. And this bitch right here is completely and totally absorbed in his decision to vote for Trump. So much so that it absorbs her own concern uh, for the fact that her dad is dying. Which has been painful since Will almost certainly lose him in the next few weeks and months. Do you remember the start of this video where she's like smirking? She's like, ooh, yeah, he's, he's, he's always, we, recently we've had some exchanges. And then when she gets to the part where, he, you know, he's talking about her, uh, or she's talking about his, uh, her dad's illness, she goes into like sad mode, like, oh yeah, that's so terrible. It's like sociopathic with these people. He has six daughters who love him dearly. I guess six daughters. So he has seven. All right. You're one. Of <laughs> Yesterday, he was so excited to tell me he just voted for Biden. Woo! Are you guys feeling the... <laughs> are you, I must say you guys feeling the burn. Are you guys feeling it? Yeah. What a heartwarming tale. So she negged her dying dad. And just vote for Biden. You have to vote for Biden. You have, to, you have six daughters who've loved and taken care of you. Why aren't you voting for for Biden? So he finally just is like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm literally dying in a few months. Uh, every day I'm just fucking harassed over my just uh, decision to vote for Trump. Fuck it, dude. What have I got left to lose? It's one vote. It doesn't matter. I'm about to die. Fine. I'll change the vote. That's probably what happened. And then uh, to add salt to the wound to this like tragic sociopathic uh, tale, she films this story, assuming this is real, which we'll take a word for it and, and say that this is real. If she kind of came up with this like narrative in her head, I feel like that's equally as fucked up, but at least it didn't actually happen. But assuming this actually happened, she then took this story that's already tragic enough and threw it up on Twitter. Just a little like, boop, there you go. Why? Why was this necessary? Well, I'll tell you why it's necessary. Because this shit got 90,000 likes and 12,000 quote tweets. A lot of people called her out for this, but most people were like, ah, oh, what a heartwarming tale. Wow, what a nice dad. Do you guys, like, do you guys not see, like, just, like, the fucking, like, sociopath? I mean, look at this bitch's face. 
disregard the fact that she's filming this for Twitter likes. Just look at her. Look at her. This is the shit that goes on TikTok. What's the rest of this video? It's just one more seconds. All right. He voted Biden-Harris because it matters to my girls. Woo. And my girls matter to me. Vote. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Vote for the guy who respects women. Biden? If, 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 if sniffing is a touching symbol of respect, then, oh, I mean, you got me there. Yeah. What, how does she end this off? If my very Republican dad... <sighs> So can you. Oh my god. This shit gives me fucking cancer. I feel like these videos, like, actually, like, fucking push people to the right more than they, like, you know, reaffirm. Like, I, I feel like if I was, like, a liberal looking at this video, I feel like I would fucking, like, I would just, ah, oh, it's so cringe. I mean, it's cringe either way. It's just cr Like, disregard politics for a second. It's just cringe because it's just, like, I have see, like, these, like, how these, like, fucking, like, social media like zoomers like reacts like when they're like my dad is dying of cancer like that's when the tiktok should end right there why are you talking about this